Jock woke up to find his wife's photo had decayed. The refrigerator under the cover was also in shambles. Jock looked up and saw. The ceiling had rotted into a black hole. He found himself in a world full of decay. Jock realized the neighbor only had half of their body left. Jock ran outside and looked up. The entire building had decayed into a black hole. Jock turned around to look beside him. The roads on both sides had decayed into large pits. The surrounding houses were also in ruins. The pedestrians on the street only had half of their bodies. Jock walked towards the railing. Jock looked at the building across from him. The once majestic skyscrapers had decayed, forming a massive, terrifying architectural cluster. Jock continued walking forward. A black monster jumped down from the rooftop across from him. The monster flew towards Jock and tackled him to the ground. Jock opened his eyes. Three people lifted him and saved him. A man kicked down a column and smashed it into the monster. The end of the road had shattered. The man pushed Jock down. Jock fell and stood up in Chinatown. The man also jumped down and slid on the ground. They ran on the broken path. They jumped into the air but were bounced and landed on inverted rooftops. The monster caught up and pounced on the man. The man shot and scared away the monster, but he realized his hand had decayed when he fell. The three hid behind a pillar. Their teammate and the monster were blown up together. The three were saved and ran out. On the way, Jock asked the woman where they were. Jock learned that he had been unconscious due to a car accident. His consciousness was sent to this virtual world. There were many people in this virtual world. They had all lost their previous memories. The three walked through a narrow path. A red bridge appeared ahead. The three walked under the red bridge. The woman placed her hand on Jock's forehead. She healed the wound on Jock's head. Jock arrived at the survivor's base. Someone ran towards them. There were many others like him here. A man stood on top of a building observing. He was the leader of everyone here. Jock looked up at the man. The woman led Jock to a floor filled with iron pipes and asked Jock to rest here. Jock dreamed of his car accident. Jock woke up from the dream and sat up. Jock looked around the room. A damaged car appeared before his eyes. Jock walked to the side of the car and reached out to touch it. Jock discovered that the person lying in the passenger seat looked exactly like him. The next day, Jock arrived downstairs. A man told Jock that everyone in this place has superpowers. Only with superpowers can one protect themselves. And superpowers can only be activated in real combat. The man's superpower is to catch bullets. In order to activate Jock's superpower, the man launched various projectiles to hit Jock, but Jock failed to catch any of them. Then the man operated a large machine. Using the machine's arm, the man struck Jock. Jock was knocked down and unable to resist. Disappointed, everyone left.